My name is Nancy. I work at St. Francis Hospital, and I want to show you something. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. We're at the Liberace Lounge at St. Francis Hospital, and um, if it wasn't for Liberace, I don't think we, I don't think this lounge would be here. And um, his, when, when he got sick, he had to be rushed to St. Francis. And so that was a lucky night for him because when the doctor, um, when they brought him in, he'd go, he went into an intensive care. Then I guess that he was just almost ready to die. And um, so they worked on him. And it, because of acute yeah, it was acute kidney failure. how long he was in the hospital and so they finally they brought him back to health and that was really nice because if it wasn't for him I don't think this lounge would have been here because um, oh, it was just so peaceful and beautiful the f plants look so you know it's just it's just when you come up here it's just like it coming just like uh, uh, a sanctuary. I don't know what you would call it, but it's just beautiful. The glass windows, when you look out, you can see people walking by, and you can see, um, uh, you know, when you walk through the lobby, the lobby of the lounge, um, people seem to have a smile on their face, and they, um, they just, it just, it just, uh, and then when you're walking through, you just get like a sense that he is still around. He'll be around forever, I think. Oh, yeah, I was, yeah, I, I saw him. When he came to open up the lobby, I was down on the first level, you know, going down the steps. If you were going up, going up the steps, you can see it right through the glass. And I saw him play the piano in his so there was a white, piano here, huh? yes. And I will show you where the piano was actually played at, okay? You, um, you, you can follow me. So all this is, it's just, it's, it's, you, you don't know what it, you know, you don't know what it feels like being here. It's just like, it's the, uh, um, it's just like everything, you know, when you come closer, you get the uh, feeling that you can still feel the piano and I'm coming closer to it and it's coming and I can still see it. It's really weird but it, the piano was placed here I believe. came through the glass doors down in the uh, first floor lobby of St. Francis Hospital. He was coming through and there was people gathered on both sides. I believe there was like 20 people deep and it was so hard to see because when he walks by, just you want to reach out and try to touch him, but his, he had this long fox fur coat all the way down to it past us. He had like a trail and he had his bodyguards on both sides of him. I got to touch the coat a little bit. I was pretty close enough just to touch it, but I didn't, I couldn't get that close because it was so hard. But when he went, then I followed him and I got to shake his hand. I tried to get, you know, closer yet, yeah, but it was so hard. It's just like, you know, when you see somebody that's real famous like that, that's, you know what I mean, it's so hard to comprehend in your head that, that event that you'll never forget. Try to, you know, it's just like a memory 
once you see that person, it's just so, you know, the famous person, it's just so hard to um, forget. Because it's like once in a lifetime or maybe another time that you might see him, but it might, you may not ever see that again. Thank you. 